Uh, young people today are trying to synthesize tradition and modernity. You see, they are passing through a traditional uh, phase in their life, a transitional phase in their life. And this is the time when I see them experimenting a lot. They're curious. Uh, they want to find the meaning in life, uh, you know, through their own uh, experience. And they want instant solutions. They are a bit hedonistic. They are very expressive. They are very spontaneous. So, uh, you know, they are fresh, powerful. So it's, it's a combination of everything. Women uh, are the ones who are transmitting the culture from one generation to the other. But now, you know, the men have also come into the picture. So uh, I think it's going to be a mixed kind of a bag. Both men and women eventually are going to be responsible for transmitting the uh, cultural traditions. I think the institution of family emerges uh, as a very, very you know, strong tradition that they would in fact like to maintain. And uh, what I find is that uh, even though they violate it uh, occasionally, yet they maintain a pro-family ideology. Young people in rural areas, I find, uh, generally more uh, traditional you know, than their urban brothers and sisters. That's because, you know, their context is very different. Situations are more limited for them, and the exposure is less, and uh, the orthodoxy, you know, is stronger in rural areas. So the pace of change is faster in a metropolis compared to, you know, rural areas. Young people are the ones, you know, who are known for um, actually believing in instant utopias. They want to change the world overnight. And they are the force. They have the power. And uh, if they have the will, you know, they are the ones who are going to bring about the change in our society.